Welcome to episode 32 of No BS TS, where we take a look at TypeScript in monorepos. So let's start off by talking about what a monorepo is. Well, a monorepo is a set of JS or TS packages that exist within a single Git repository. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, we want to have lots of small packages so we can get optimal reuse out of our code and kind of stick everything together in a modular way. But the problem becomes version change cascades. So if you change a low level package, which is dependent on by a bunch of packages, then you've got to bump all their versions and kind of get a cascade. And if so, if all of those are in different repos, then that becomes a version management problem. And you've got to go PR a bunch of different repos to get just one small thing done. So monorepos fix that. I use a monorepo at my job. We go and build both an Electron application and a Next.js web server with a common set of core components in a shared set of packages. And it's great. Now, I wanted to show you how to do this, but there is a lot of setup when it comes to getting this right for TypeScript. The nice thing is there is this nx.dev, this nx system, which makes it all really easy. So let's try it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is copy this mpx create nx workspace. And I'm gonna take that into my terminal go into no BSTS, and I am going to paste that in there and then give it the name Blue Collar Coder Monorepo. And now it's asking me whether I want to initialize this either as an empty monorepo with nothing in it. I'm actually gonna opt for doing a React app in there. I'm gonna call that my app. And it asked me some basic questions and no, and now it's going to install. And this is actually gonna take a while. So I'm gonna clip this out and I'll see you on the other side when we bring up VS Code. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna go now into that BCC monorepo directory and bring up VS Code. And we can have a look around. We have apps and libs. And so libraries, which is libs, there's nothing in it. We have no shared components yet, but we do have our my app that was created. And it's basically just a TypeScript React application that's got some nice placeholder in it. So let's go and bring that up in the terminal. And to do that, all I need to do is just say yarn start. Now, if you have multiple applications, it's gonna go and fire up all of those. This is also gonna monitor any library code to see if that changes. It's really a great system. I'm, I'm really, really, really impressed with NX. All right, so I'm gonna go find the URL here and see that it's listing, listening, awesome, very cool. Okay, so this is a nice page. It gives us a little handy helper hint here where if you've got NX installed globally, and I do, you can create a library of components using this command. So I'm gonna copy that command and then create another terminal. And at the top level, then do NX, which means, which is the NX system, G for generate. And then this is the template. So it's a React library. And I'm gonna call this my comps. So it's gonna be the components for this application. Now, if we go over here into libs, now we've got a mycomps in there. Very cool, right? Okay, so it's actually got a component in there already, but I wanna go and add my own custom component. So I'm gonna do nx g, and then same sort of thing, nrwl, react, and then component, and then give it the name of my component, so carousel, and then give it the project. I wanna in the mycomps project. And should it be exported? <laughs> sure, yes, I would think so. Okay, cool. So now we've got a carousel in there and I can say, hi, from my carousel. So this is my custom carousel component. Very cool. Now, how do I go and use this? Well, this is part of the greatness of this NX system. I don't actually have to do any hard linking between these things. I just need to import it. It will automatically detect that and create the dependency for me. So I go over here to app and then I say 
import from, and I do at BCC mono, which is the, the namespace, and my comps, now I can say that I want to bring in the carousel. Holy moly. Okay. So now let me go and get rid of that, and I'll take out all of main here. don't really need that, but I want to put in my carousel. Carousel. Very cool. Now, is it working? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, so it can't find it yet. So we need, we do need to reboot the server, which I think is fine. So let's go back over here to node, stop the server, and then restart it. Totally worth paying the price on that. You only have to do it once uh, to go and create that connection. So, all right, let's, <laughs> and it's that fast. Look, hi from my carousel. And this is picking up all the types. I'm telling you. I actually created the mono repo for my work. It is not simple to get TypeScript working in a mono repo and get it done reliably. And this does it for you in minutes. It's fantastic. Okay. So one more thing I want to show is around the dependency graph. It's really cool. So I can do NX dep dash graph and it'll give me a dependency graph and show me how all of my applications consume all of my libraries. So the EDE application or end-to-end -end testing application consumes my app and my app in turn consumes my components. How cool is that? That is actually really hard information to get in large complex systems. That's actually really huge. So let's do just one more thing. Let's try out Storybook because that's another thing that you kind of want to do in these mono repos is you want to be able to advertise to other developers, hey, you should use this component and here's properties and all that sort of stuff. And Storybook is a fantastic system for doing that. So let's see how we can put Storybook into our app. We go to the Storybook page. And again, we'll use this yarn to add the Storybook. And that's the NX essentially plugin around Storybook. Storybook's its own thing, but they've made it easy to integrate using this NX Storybook, which is awesome. Okay, that took a bit, but it was worth the wait. So next we want to do is generate a Storybook for that component library. So I'm going to copy this, paste it in there, and say that I want it on the MyComps uh, project, and then no on the tests, but true on the auto generation of the stories. All right, and then finally, let's actually run it. So we're gonna do NX run and then the project name and then this colon the storybook. So let's go over here, NX run, my comps storybook. That's gonna bring up storybook on the my components project. Okay, and now I've got our URL, let's click on that. And we've got our storybook for our carousel. How awesome. So is all of this live? Is this connecting together? Let's try it out. Okay, so I go back over here to our libs and I say, uh, live update, question mark, question mark, question mark. I'll hit save, I'll hit refresh on that. So it's a, it's a refresh, but I think that's fine. And now over on my app, Bang, it's live updating. <laughs> How easy is that? It is phenomenally easy to put together a mono repo for TypeScript using NX like this. All right, well, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button and leave some comments in the comment section. YouTube is really big on comments and that would help out this channel a lot if you left some comments. Of course, in the meantime, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and click on that bell button and be notified the next time a new No BSTS video arrives.